Hey guys, welcome back to Karting with Chris. Today's video is going to be the Summer 6 Final Race. So before I get into this race any further, um, I'd just like to apologize for the tardiness of this video. Um, so basically what happened was, immediately after this race, I went on vacation. So I really only had time to make the pre-final video, so that's why this one's coming out so late. So while I was on vacation, um, I also went karting, and I did take my GoPro because, you know, I enjoy doing this stuff, and um, I will be posting that, so make sure you're watching out for that. Also, there is a Dallas Karting Complex Rental League race coming up on Friday the 13th, um, and if you're interested in that, I will be attending it, and you can race against me, um, but again, the rules are you have to let me win. So enough chit-chat, let's get into this race. So we're starting in third because that's where we finished in the pre-final. And that's actually a good starting position around this track because we got the inside line. So uh, at the start, we should bump up into second immediately. And hopefully we can stay there the entire race. It is 16 laps, so it is kind of long, but that's how long all the finals are. So hopefully we can maintain our position. So directly in front of us, starting on pole, we have Ava. Um, huge shout out to Ava's dad for helping my brother and I uh, weld our carts together. Really nice guy, really helpful. Huge shout out to him. Um, starting in second, uh, we have Adrian. He's really good. We're going to try and make sure he doesn't get in front of us at the start. And then starting to the right of me, we have my brother. Um, and hopefully he doesn't screw things up. And we have a bunch of other fast drivers here as well, but uh, we're about to start the race. We're rounding out the last corner here. We're going to get right behind Ava, give her a little push, uh, make sure she doesn't pull away at the beginning. So we're going to wait for the flagman to wave green, and we're looking at the flagman. Flagman waves green, we're good to go. So right off the bat, we're just going to stick right behind Ava. She gets a little sideways there, stand behind her. We're up into second, as we predicted, and um, no one's challenging us for it, so we're going to stay behind Ava. Uh, going through turn three, we have Ross right behind us. He started in fifth place, and I'm already wanting to work together as Ava goes a little sideways through the chicane. I want to work together and start forming a pack. So before this race started, as we're going through turn seven here, you can see that I just had no brakes, and you can see Ava pulled away from me. Um, I did spill oil on my brake rotor before this race because I did change my oil and um, that was not good. I got most of it off, but on the warm-up lap, I was trying my best to just hold the brakes down and really get the brakes uh, good. So uh, Ava has pulled away now, but she's all by herself, and you can see we've caught right back up to her. Uh, it's hard to pull away when you're by yourself, especially in these 206 carts. Going through the chicane, we can see Ava's going a little sideways there. It is nighttime, it's hard to warm up those tires. Um, so going into seven here, I did break a little too early. Ross did bang into the back of me, not on purpose. My brother makes contact with me. I give him a little gesture, and we get passed by everyone, and now we're down into fifth place. So because of that small mistake, we did lose three places, and that's, that's how 206 racing goes. If you make the tiniest mistake, people are going to freight train you, and then you're down in fifth place. So um, that was no one's fault. Um, the gesture I gave my brother was just a, you know, brotherly love. Um, you know, he did bang into me a little. That's just how we race. Uh, don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I wasn't that mad at him. So directly in front of us, we have Chuck. He's in fourth place. Um, they are starting to pull away from me because I'm not quite within their draft. Uh, behind me, we have Adrian, uh, the person who started in second place. Hopefully he can catch up and we can work together and catch up to this train of four up ahead. But going into turn one here, we see Chuck's going for the move on my brother. He doesn't want to be stuck behind him. My brother tries to go for the over-under, doesn't get it quite done, dips a wheel going into two. I see this as my opportunity to pass him. Wasn't quite close enough, and um, he's still around my outside. Adrian pushes him going into turn three, and now I'm down into sixth place. So unfortunately, Adrian did help my brother stay in front of me. Um, but that's racing, you know, Adrian got past me, that was his goal. So now I'm down into sixth. I do have another person behind me. His name is Jamal. Hopefully we can work together and catch up to Adrian and Ben and work 
together with them and catch up to the top people. So we're about to finish lap four, start lap five, and if we recap what's happened so far, we started in third, went up to second, dropped down to fifth, and then dropped down to sixth. So not really a good start to this race, and this is all primarily because I braked a little early into seven, so these small mistakes can just ruin your race, but um, it's not over. We still have about 10 or 11 laps to go, and hopefully we can gain some positions. So like I said, we have Jamal behind me, um, and he was pushing me down the straight, so I tap my helmet, tell him, let's catch up to these guys in front of us. Um, but coming down this back straight here, my brother actually points Adrian by. I think he said that um, he thought Adrian was the faster driver, and if you want to catch up to someone, you, you know, got to have the faster driver in front. So he's going to put Adrian in front. Um, this has allowed us to catch up to Ben, and now um, we can train up, let Adrian pull us along, and catch up to the top three. So going through the chicane here, um, we're in my brother's draft right here. And uh, going into turn seven, you're going to see them pull away from me. I'm still not quite confident on my brakes. Um, I am braking a little later now, but I really didn't want to, you know, lose the brakes and go into the grass. So I'm not that confident on the brakes, but you can see I'm uh, good enough to stay in my brother's draft and keep working together with him. So if you remember from the pre-final, I don't know if I said it or not, but it was crazy hot and crazy grippy during the day, as you can see me going sideways through turn two there. Um, but by the time the sun came down for the final race, it was really hard to find grip. Um, I did make a adjustment to my cart, but it wasn't good enough. I was still slipping and sliding a little bit. And that's something I gotta get better at. Um, if you've ever been at a race with me, uh, what I do is I get out my cart um, I do a couple maintenance things like change the oil or change the clutch and then I just leave it. I don't touch it. Um, I will like touch the tire pressures and for this race I did raise my axle a little bit because I did know it would be a little slippery but I really don't touch my cart that much. But I'm not completely ignorant. I do try new things. I try changing different cart setups for different situations. And it's not just cart setup. I'm not a perfect driver. I will adjust things for my driving style. So, um, you know, I'm not just leaving it all the time, but I do need to get better at diagnosing problems and finding the perfect solution for that problem. And I do appreciate you guys, you know, commenting, telling me what I could do better. Um, sorry if I don't take all of your suggestions, but uh, let's look at the race right now. We're on lap nine now. We're pushing my brother down the straight here, and we are kind of catching up to the top three. Um, we can see just barely that the person in first is kind of pulling away. I think that's Ava. She was fast all day, so it doesn't surprise me, but we are catching up to second and third place. So hopefully we can salvage something from this race. Um, it's not been the worst race in the world. We could be in last place. But um, we are in sixth place, and that's not where we want to be. Um, there is no one behind us anymore. I think Jamal spun out, which is unfortunate for him. So what we don't want to happen when we catch up to these top three people is Adrian to catch up and then them start pulling away from Ben and I. So we got to stay right on Adrian's bumper. Um, I'm not on Ben's bumper, so um, hopefully they don't catch up or else they will start pulling away from me because that draft is super crucial in these 206s. So going through turn three here, we see Adrian's about three cart lengths behind uh, third place. I don't know who that is. I think it might be Chuck. And then Ben's about a cart and a half lengths behind Adrian. And I'm about two cart lengths behind Ben. So um, we need to close in that gap. Uh, easier said than done. Going through turns eight and nine here, I just completely mess it up. And they all pull away from me. Not what we wanted to happen. Uh, I need to practice a little more on my consistency, but um, they are starting to pull away now. Hopefully Ben makes a mistake. As he goes into the grass, our prayers are answered. We're up into fifth place now. Um, I think he went into the grass because he was struggling for grip. I think that's what he told me, but this is not good news. Adrian is far ahead of us. He's about to catch up to that group of three up ahead. Going through turn seven, we see a cart going really slow as Adrian has to weave to pass them. That's Ross. I think something happened to his motor. I couldn't quite figure out what it was. I don't think he even knew what it was. But um, 
hopefully we can catch up to Ross. So I'm tapping my head, I'm pointing towards Ross, I'm saying, Ben, let's catch up to Ross. But Ben said he got a good run on me. You can see my frustration. Going through turn one, he's got the inside. I do the old switcheroo, and now I'm beside him going into turn two. He's gonna try and hold it around the outside and doesn't quite manage it. And now Ross is uh, further ahead than he was before. So at this point, I was quite mad because we had a chance to catch up to Ross and get more positions. But uh, Ben told me after the race that he got a good run on me and um, he didn't want the run to go to waste. And if you think about it, uh, yes, it would make more sense to me that Ben would push me. But um, as a racer from his perspective, it made sense to just pass me because, you know, it's a race. You're trying to pass people. So during this race, I was quite upset about that. Um, we've got Ross, he's up in front by himself. Um, he won't be able to uh, draft with someone and pull away, but sadly Ben is not behind me close enough to draft with me. So we're all kind of by ourselves right now, and we are about the same pace, so it's gonna be hard to catch up to Ross um, unless he has more engine problems. So I'm gonna spare you me just babbling on for the next three or four laps. Um, I did not catch up to Ross. Ben did not catch up to me. Um, I did end up finishing in fifth place. Um, natural habitat of karting with Chris, if you're new to this channel. I usually get fourth or fifth. But, um, you know, that's not that bad of a result. Uh, usually I say if I get top five, I'm happy with it. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be doing a Dallas Karting Complex rental league race on August Friday the 13th. Um, I know it's a little short notice, but this was the soonest time I could get this video done because I've been quite busy, like I said before. Um, if you can make it and you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask. I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I'll also leave a couple links down in the description below if you're interested. Um, I will say there is a early entrance. Um, don't pay the late entrance free. It's not worth it. Just pay it early. But that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, please comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.